Hello everybody, welcome back to Blue Star Bay Zoo. As you can see, there's been some significant changes while you were gone. And I've done a few things. I tried to learn how to play the game a little bit better off of recording. And so I've done a couple things which are very interesting. So let's go through those real fast. As you can see, I have added in a, a giant shelter to the habitat here but you're like what are these i've also adopted some black wildebeest so i did two females and a male and they've actually already had babies like this guy right here is a baby and then i think there's a, there's another one somewhere right there oh that's the african buffalo baby because we had african buffaloes and wildebeest babies. We also sadly had one of our African buffaloes did pass away at the age of 19. So um, they, they really like the habitat. They actually go into it now because I was wondering in my head if they actually did that. So, but that's also brought more people to the yard. Um, I also added in this a loopy balloon. So we're making money off of ticket sales and we're actually making more money off of the price of all of this stuff than anything else so that are the major changes and i can't remember if i put in the the seating and the lighting and stuff like that in this ep in the last episode or not or if i did that you know uh off off of recording so one thing we want to look at right now is let's look at our mechanic research and we are currently doing habitat stuff uh i did finish i did finish the africa theme so we have some african themed buildings that we can do now which is awesome the next thing we're going to do is we need to start do after the habitats are done i need to start doing souvenir shops and whatnot because that definitely needs to happen with we, we need some oh, drink shops or whatever like we need more shops is basically what we need so once we're done with the habitat i think we'll move on to see there's the hats what else we got we got we don't need transport rides we don't really need staff facilities excuse me yet um food shops that's what we need food shops so we're going to get the hot dog squad so that'll be awesome. All right. So that is the changes as of right now. And I'm trying to figure out what to do. Let's uh, move this. So it's inside the thing. There we go. There we go. And I wish I knew how to make all the posts straight i thought i did it in the first episode but i can't remember how i did it if i did it uh anyway so we're making money and we're feeling good about things but we need to get some more people into the park which means we have to spend some more money so i think the next step is going to be building an, an additional habitat uh so let's figure out what we want to because we're with an africa theme right now and so if we do some look at the animals and again the only thing that you can do is can we do conservation credit listings okay maybe we have to do that Okay. And auction time. I was trying to do if I if I could just do like a one where it was just Africa. Can I do Africa? Thank you. 
I was hoping I could filter on just like African stuff. Okay. So this must be conservation credits. I have no idea what those are. Let's hit this and see if that's what that is. Oh, so I have... I have some that are green, but I don't know what the red ones are. And I don't know if that actual is actual, like, you have to go and buy that kind of stuff. Which, I don't know. So we're going to get rid of those, and we're just going to do cash only. We'll, we'll leave it as everything. Um... Let's look through some of this stuff. Hey, there's a dango. It can eat your baby. Koalas? So if we stick with this, I think we ought to go with planes, zebras. Let's check out them. And along with the zebras, we're going to do the giraffe. There's a reticulated giraffe. Do they have just like a regular... Okay, well, let's just go with those and see what... See what we got. And we are going to get rid of that. So it's cash only, cash money. Um Okay, what about if, what if we do that? Okay. A hippopotamus? What about a hippopotamus? What do we got? They all cost real money. Oh, they're very expensive. Um... A quokka. Oh, they're very expensive, too. Asian water monitor. Indian peafowl. Can, I wonder if those can just wander around your zoo. Because that would be cool. Flamingos. Flamingos are an idea. They would definitely need water. Warthog. Warthogs might be... something. A red kangaroo. We could do some kangaroos. Get some dingoes so they can eat people's babies. What can the kangaroos... Will it tell me what they're compatible with? Com Zoopedia. It does not tell me natural habitat, species data, interspecies. Oh, so they can... 
They can live with the koalas. And so they would need a temperate tropical. I think we're good on our temperature requirements. They need to climb. They need at least 1,900 feet square for their land use. Um, let's look at kangaroo habitat. They need 3,500 feet. And a nine foot barrier, <clears throat> three to nine foot barrier. They do not require water or climbing. Let's check out the. This is very good information. They do require at least 215 square feet of climbing area. No water, no deep water. Climb proof fence. Oh, we need to make sure we have climb proof grade fencing. Grade one climb proof fencing. So we need to make sure we have that before we put koalas in there. We're looking at these, so... <laughs> we're making money while we're looking at all this, so that's good. Okay, so we need to find out if we have climb proof fencing. So let's go to barriers. Not climbable. Climbable. So we can't use a chain link fence. Grade three, not climbable. So glass. We can't use the wood logs. We could use red brick. So, we could... We could do something like... Where it is... So, say we start here. So, we need to do... I think six and a half feet is good. Let's see. This is... We went glass. Oh, well, one... Okay, and then, then that way we would do the, where's it at? Red brick. Okay, let's see how big this is. Oh, I need to put in a habitat gate. So if I put a habitat gate here, does it immediately make it the habitat? Okay, let's see how big this is. That is plenty big enough for all of that stuff. Uh-oh. 
Habitat has damage barrier. Where? Uh, mechanic. Where's our barrier damaged at? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Look at that. Okay. So we have this in there, and I probably should have put it closer come to think of it. You know what I mean? Edit barrier. Oh. Can I just delete it? Can we can we delete it? Edit barrier. Oh no! One animal has escaped! Oh no! Well, that cost me a thousand cheese. How do I move it? How did the animal escape? Is the question. Interesting. Okay. Well, that was a wild ruckusness. Um, let's move this guy over to here. Let's delete that guy. Let's delete that guy. Let's, uh, delete that guy, and that guy, and that guy, and that guy. Let's edit the barrier. Okay. All right, I like how that looks. It's closer to the stuff so they can see them better. We do not need, I don't think we need, because we want kangaroo. Uh, was it red kangaroo? So I'm going to do this one and this one. <clears throat> and let's go to the Zoopedia and we're going to do the habitat. So... We're good there. We don't need any water requirement or deep water requirement. Uh, species data. Um, okay. Let's actually do... Let's do all of them. That way we have enough, is what I'm saying. Okay. And let's go to our animal storage. And I'm going to put one of them in here. Well, first thing we need to do is we need to put in a food and water thing.
food and water. I don't know, maybe we should have done... Yeah, okay. That way we have at least something in here. Okay. Definitely need to do barriers. <laughs> we definitely need to do barriers. We also lost all of our people coming into the zoo, so that's lovely. Um, now let's put in... Oh, no path to the... Okay. Alright. Paths. Staff only. Actually, let's uh, extend this path. Which is somewhere down here. And it needs to be length. I'm going to say that. I think it was like 23. And align to grid. Okay. Staff only path. Okay. Now let's put in... Our kangaroo. And we're just going to see what else we need to put into the zoo for that. Visiting player, hello. Tickets aren't overpriced, dude. Just relax. Is gonna be fine. The overpriceness of the tickets is is fine. Let's actually speed up and get this. See if we can get that guy in here sooner. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see what the wild kangaroo needs. Uh, terrain. So we need to throw in some short grass soil. Actually, sand. Okay. Short grass. I'm just going to do something like this. Throwing some long grass here and there. We put in some soil. And let's do smaller size here. So let's go heavy soil. Okay, heavy soil. I don't think it... Does it need sand? Is it... I guess it doesn't care. It can just be in any amount of soil, any amount of sand. Any amount of rock, basically. No snow. Um, grassland and desert. So let's do no food enrichment. We don't have any enrichment and stuff like that in there. I was looking for the... Apparently it does not care about shelter either. So let's go ahead and get the rest of our animals in here. Uh, 
Okay. And if we want to do climbing stuff, enrichment items, food enrichment, hanging graze, grazing feeder. That might be too tall. Is that too tall? Can you graze it to this? Let's put in a small barrel feeder. And maybe another small barrel feeder. And some toys. What kind of toys did they need? Enrichment. So we do need toy enrichment. Well, do they need the the scent marker? Where's the Zoopedia at? There it is. Okay, so they need scent marker, large ball, and a large ball. And they eat hay. Okay. So let's put in scent marker. Let's just kind of put it like over here somewhere, I guess. So we got some enrichment items in there. What else did they need? Hey. It's only hey. So we need an addition more. I don't put too many large balls in here, I guess. Maybe another scent thing here and like one right here. What about now? How you guys feel now? Enrichment. Food enrichment. So, which it, it, maybe it's the hanging one. So, if it's not this one, can we delete that and that? And maybe it is the hanging one. Let's find out. There it is. And then let's put in another one up here, I guess. There we go. Hanging feeders. All right. Are right, we already said hello? Okay. Well. We've uh, started this, so let's see about our um, we don't want to do kangaroos. Let's do we want to do koalas. Confirm. Oh, koalas are very expensive.
What if we did all of this nonsense? So I'll have to keep an eye on koalas. So let's... I do want to put a light in over here. Let me do this. And then control D. And... Like that. Put one here, and then one like right here. Okay. And give me a couple benches. We're gonna put one, one, two, three. Put some benches over there. Let's check in on our research real fast. How's that going? Okay. I feel like I should, you know, let's throw in a little bit of sand coloring. Because I said we could use some sand. So can we put some sand in here? Oh, red kangaroo is about to mate. Let's get it on. Oh, they're in love. Sure. Because I feel like there should be... I don't know if they like the vegetation, but what we're going to do is we're going to throw in a little bit of sand. I don't know, some like sand up in here. Let's see if they like that. Sand is fine. Do we have nature? Rocks? Because I, I haven't researched in the Australian stuff, so... I feel like I should do some, like, red desert rockage. And then... Let's go like that. Looking to see how they feel about the rocks. That's way too big. They may not even care about the rocks. And I feel like we need to put some sand around that. It looks weird in the, the sunlight of how it is now. Let's make it just bigger like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coarse sand. They're okay with that. And then what about nature trees and biome? 
grassland desert. What if we just did desert? And so what we'll do is we'll find out. Like we're gonna put in, cause I want some plants in here, cause it's just so bare. Oh, that one definitely is not. And continents, Oceania. There we go. Let's try that. What about this guy? Uh, nope. We want. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're good so far. Which one did we do? So we did cork wood. Maybe we did. Oh, we did this one. We just want to make sure that we don't overdo the coverage of the plants. Still good, still good. All right. Maybe a wattle bush. Also got to be careful because if we put in put in too much or stuff maybe that the koalas whenever we get those couldn't climb over or could climb over it's a giant habitat that's the biggest thing is like this is just a giant habitat you know what I mean All right. Uh, habitats is done. Let's start. We're going to add in the... Wait, we were going to do... Uh, food shops is what we're going to do. So we're going to start with food shops. That red kangaroo is a mating machine, dude. Oh, 22 years old. That's probably one of the reasons. Oh, it's mom games hard. Look, there's MGH. Hello. Say hi to MGH, MGH right there. All right, well, we started our process of our kangaroos, and it is just pouring rain, and so that might be why they're stressed, but we've got kangaroos going, and our, our, our zoo's expanding. We've got 400 people in. Let's take a look before we head out uh, at our expenses and stuff. So we're making money, which is great. And you can see, like, we did purchase a bunch of stuff. So we did do animal transfers and stuff like that and construction last year. But we're making money, which is a great thing. And just taking it easy 
and not just building, building, building. I would love to put more in, and I think I, what I need to do is look at look at actual zoos and figure out what I need to do over here for like their habitats and stuff like that. Uh, one thing I do need to do is put in the education stuff. Like you can see, we have the speakers and stuff and the education things over here for uh, this habitat. We need to do that for, th for this. And then hopefully we can get some koalas to put in here and maybe have like a giant climbing section in the middle for the koalas. So get some of the uh, Australian stuff over here and then also start putting in some of the African themed stuff. You know, whatever that happens to be. So we do have African exhibits, so maybe we can start doing African exhibits and um, whatnot. So, and I think that's also, we're also going to need more, whatchamacallits, some more employees. I think we're going to need some more employees, but we're going to do all that in the next episode. I really appreciate y'all hanging out here. And I, and I am doing my best to take this slow and because I don't, <laughs> I don't want to mess it up, you know, and it's just a lot more fun to take it easy and build slowly than it is to just build, 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 lose all my money and then have to start over and get super frustrated. So, um, we're going to have to work on employees, cleanliness, all that stuff for the next episode. And hopefully we don't have any... Yeah, see, this is an issue. So we're going to need more... More keepers, I guess. So, let's see what if they're saying anything. Oh, one of the walls looks damaged. Call mechanic. Oh, well, there we go. And the kangaroos are just mating out of control over here. So, hey, that's going to do it for this episode of the Blue Star Bay Zoo. And we are... Let's get a good view with the, the, the mating. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? So, hey, there we go. But yes, again, thank you so much for coming and hanging out. Uh, let me get my thoughts straight. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. And I'll figure out like the food stuff. I probably have to buy food because they're super hungry. But until the next episode, y'all take care.